Look, man, this doesn't have to go. The fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. Come on, man, what else? There are muertos down there. There were a bunch of them outside, too. The dead, huh? Well, then, we better take care of that, shouldn't we? My family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Answer me! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. There's gotta be a way we can work all this out. You know, make a deal or something. It ain't my call, all right? You best be glad it ain't. Please, just stop, all right? You don't want me riled up, kid. Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! No, no, no! Good. Just keep looking forward. Look, I'm already having a bad fucking day here. This is not what it looks like. Looks like you let him go. <laughs> I doubt he'd have done the same for you. Okay, now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. Wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Oh, shit. Well, you almost crushed me in the process. Tree fell slower than I thought it would. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Call it what you want. You're a thief. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522, and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. 
Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you. I don't trust you. And I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Come on. You must trust me at least a little. We're here, aren't we? I trust that if I don't get a van at the end of this, you'll regret it. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Well, thanks for not killing me, Clementine. Don't thank me yet. talk fine but how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself for all I'd know you'd turn around and use it on me you give me a weapon we can protect each other I give you a weapon I can't take my eyes off you at least this way I know what I'm up against where does the herd caught up with us What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Yeah. Well, it shows. Meaning what? Meaning you could sure use a dust-up on those people skills. <sighs> so... Who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive. Surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just... keeping everyone together like that. I did whatever I had to do to protect them. Kept them out of trouble the best I could. Sucks. That sometimes it's not enough. How about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was, but some people looked out for me too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. You want me to trust you? Give me a reason. Don't make me regret this. Come on! There! Get to the gate! Just keep going! You'll open up! Shit! Hey! Open up! I can't open the gate till you clear them out! Can't risk it! 
it, Francine. One of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. I'm not the one you should be worried about. Well, you know the score around here, Clementine. Don't do anything that would make me want to pick you up and throw you the fuck out. And I won't pick you up and throw you the fuck out. My boots weigh more than you. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. No, no, this place is actually kind of charming. It's got walls all the way around, and, well, that thing. Yeah, like I said, this is a pretty cool place. Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... they're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know... It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you... make some friends? Play your hand. You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. <laughs> I know your game. This is my game. Clearly. Always a smart ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves. I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should've had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. The past is the past. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well... Maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm. Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. I don't really gamble anymore. Went all in on the wrong hand once. <laughs> it's okay, hon. I got this one. Raise. Moment of truth. Flip them. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Oh, hell yeah! Nice. Oh, calm down, both of you. Bottles up. Wow, oh, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. What's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal, and it's done? 
What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire! He could have gotten both of us killed! Oh yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Cause I don't scare easy, alright? Just make it right. We can all walk away from this nice and easy. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. No. I could have died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Whoa! Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. I ought to punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. Eli was a grade-A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um... That was cool of you. Yeah. Well, now you really owe me one. Because you put my ass on the line with these people, and they barely know me. I know. And I'm... Well... I'm saying thanks. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. And I'm starting to think this trip guy, kind of a prick. He means well. He's just got a lot on his shoulders. Now, let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. Are you calling me pretty? <laughs> I was talking about Eli. The dead guy? Oh, yeah, good. Because I prefer dashing. Or debonair, maybe. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town. And get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... Hey, it's okay. 
You've done enough. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms, and on my timeline. You got me? Nah, no way. I need to get back on the road ASAP. Javier, I am not negotiating here. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. Nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. It's too risky, and if Muertos were to somehow surround us, we... Don't worry. It'll be fine. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had a dinner. Yeah, she's... she's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. It kind of hurts. I'm sorry. I know it sucks. I'm... I haven't been sleeping well lately. I've noticed. So many people died here. So many ghosts. Sometimes they're all I think about. Still better than sleeping out in the rain. Yeah, I guess. Hey, look, Goofball. It's you. Alvin Goofball Jr. Can you say Goofball? You know, he does need a middle name. His parents, they never got a chance. You think? Go on. Pick one. No time like the present. How about... Kenny? I know how you felt about him. But I wouldn't be alive without Kenny, and neither would AJ. Not my favorite, but... Well, I guess that makes sense. I was just thinking Jamie was pretty cool. For a boy or a girl. Jamie? That was your sister? Yeah. I used to think that if I was ever... picking out names, I'd... Anyway, the deal was ink first, then a perimeter sweep. But I just checked it a few days ago. We're on our own here, Clem. If we'd been doing this earlier, that asshole family you sent away never would have broken in and stolen from us. It won't take long. I knew I couldn't trust them. Yeah, well, you were right. So get to it. I want you to be prepared. For anything. I know. I'm gonna go take a little nap. I'm, uh, not feeling that great.
Jane? If you're not feeling well, I can bring you something. I'm so sorry. 